like <laughs> it's like got production value. So I'm super impressed by that. But uh, just tell us a little bit about what's going on with your podcast. Um, I'll be honest, like you guys have been a huge influence. Uh, Macha's saying it like I remember when we first talked. Um, I thought about the idea of just sharing more information about myself and my experience. Um, I do feel like it is um, rare to have someone of um, from Canada who's black, who's um, a male in elementary. Um, I feel like it's different. So I thought, what can I do to just get my thoughts out about everything that's in my head? Um, and like Will said um, earlier, it kind of gives you a space where you can be comfortable. Um, you can be in the confined room of your, your own space and you can share whatever you want. And then you can let the audience comment or message you about topics or whatever the case may be. Um, so basically it's a, right now it's just a, it's going to be about, it's an eight part series about experiences that I've been going through. Talk about community, talk about family, talk about education. Um, and I do kind of have the topics written out, uh, but a lot of them are unedited. I write them up and then I just spit them out. Uh, the only editing part that does happen is with the transitions through um, the music. I also add certain parts of different songs. So, different so the sound movies. bites are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and that's honestly, that's just my love of um, like, I wouldn't say pop culture, just culture in general. There is like a usually like a hip hip hop feeling within most of them. Um, I've just grown up around hip hop and um, black culture. And that's been something that's kind of been ingrained in me. Uh, so that's kind of the idea of around basically a lot of the podcast. Um, and I've been loving it, man. It's been really, really fun. What's up, everybody? My name is Kyle Krieger and welcome to the Endless Possibilities of Podcasts. I want to first give a quick shout out to our friend Gary Gray for allowing us to use that clip of him from our podcast from earlier this year um, to lead this off uh, as a presentation trying to show you why podcasts are not only possible, um, but they're really something that you should be doing and you could be doing with a lot more ease than you think. Now, um, a little bit about me. Uh, I am half of the team at both Lighthouse Educator Development and the Value Adds Value podcast. Um, another huge shout out to all the people who have listened to the Value Adds Value podcast, which was formerly called the LED Project podcast. Um, and all the people who have been guests starting, you know, from... Gary Gray to Liz Kleinrock, Joe Dombrowski, A. A. Schwartz, Eric Crouch. Um, gosh, I'm missing so many. Tasha Wright. Oh, so many. I mean, we've done 170 some episodes and over 100 interviews. Um, and I want to thank those people because without those people, I wouldn't be here giving this presentation about podcasts. Now, um, a disclaimer this 20 minutes is not going to be a how to. On podcasts, this is more of me speaking from my heart to yours on why I think you should be and why I think you could be definitely using podcasts with your kids. Now, please don't turn it off because in the notes of this session is a link to a Google slide presentation that we gave last November at the AIE conference that goes step by step through how we use uh, SoundCloud to create and um, publish our podcast. So don't fear. We're here to help you with the, with the how to part. And if that presentation doesn't work, please send me an email at Kyle at the led project.com. Or you can uh, send me a DM either on Twitter or on Instagram at value adds value. So with that being said, again, this is the endless possibilities of podcasts. Now, here's the thing. Podcast is a huge medium. I would imagine that everybody who is on this session has listened to a podcast, you know what podcasts are, and you probably got a few that you really love. Um, but the thing about podcasts that's amazing right now to me and why we got into it is it's just a conversation. And conversations are something that we're doing every single day. And it's something that our kids are doing every single day. And I know in my teaching experience, 
one of the things we really strove to do and, and, and that is a challenge is directing conversation. So first and foremost, podcasts are simply taking what your kids are already doing and creating it with a format. And the second part about that is, is our conversations we know as educators, conversations are so important. Giving kids a space to speak and a place to speak is so, so crucial in the world that we live in today. And if you reference back to the little clip of Gary, you know, it's, it's a place where he can go to put his thoughts down. It's a place where he can create and build something new. And for you, we are not saying that everything you do should be a podcast. Obviously not. That's not, that's not what we're saying. But podcasts are an opportunity for you to direct conversations where you want it to go by providing students a place to create something new. And, and that's the second part of, and maybe the most important part um, of why you should be doing podcasts, why they're powerful and why they have endless possibilities is because we all know that kids value what they can create that will live online. Kids value what they can create that will live online. And a podcast is one of those things. Now, again, this doesn't have to mean that you're giving kids endless free reign to put out whatever they want. You as a teacher will control um, if you use the method we laid out in that presentation, which is, again, uh, in the notes of the session. It's a Google slide presentation. You can control it. But we should not for a second forget how much it matters to kids what they can create that lives online. And they can create in a format that's more genuine. I recorded four videos before this one, trying to do things that were different, trying to do things that were weird, that just never felt genuine to me. But this feels right to me, to have my earbuds in, to be sitting, talking to my computer, talking to you in a format that I feel comfortable with. And I'm more comfortable with this because I've done it 170 some times whether it's just me, whether it's with a guest, whether it's me and Wilkie Law, um, who's my co-founder and partner in the, in the Value Adds Value podcast. I'm comfortable here. And with podcasts, we have a chance to make students feel comfortable in conversations and feel comfortable in academic conversation. And also, too, you give them the opportunity to do the thing that is the most valuable to them. And I, I, I shouldn't say the most. That's not the right way to say it. Something that is very valuable to most kids to be able to create something that lives online. And in a practical sense, the podcast gives you an opportunity to direct those conversations, to take student conversations in, in to the places that you've struggled to take them prior because you've placed a device down in front of them, a microphone, a computer, their cell phone, um, whether you're using just the voice memos on a phone, I'm using Zoom right now currently to record this video. You can use Skype, you can use FaceTime, um, you can use Garage. There are endless ways you can record, but putting that device between kids during conversation is all it takes to create something new and to give them the opportunity to be a part of that creation process. And in that, we have the opportunity to take the conversations the places we want them to go. And the greatest thing about podcasts, especially for kids, if they're skeptical, if they think you're taking them down some weird road or you're going somewhere where they don't need to know or where they don't want to go, you can go to iTunes or iHeartRadio or Spotify and search up any topic you want and you can find podcasts about it. So you're showing them that this medium is a very open medium. It's open to anyone and everyone. 
and that's and that's powerful and um you know something again that's been on our minds as we've been on our own podcast journey now for um for two years is the identity and voice that it gives kids and that's maybe um the most important part of doing podcasts is it helps kids find their voice and hopefully find their identity. Now, whether you're a science teacher, a math teacher, English teacher, middle school, high school, elementary school, helping kids find their voice is one of the most important things we could ever do for our kids. And I find that having a conversation this way with right now, it's just me to you, but having a conversation this way where I would have a couple other people on the pop-ups on my screen is more comfortable than standing up in front of a group of people. So it's an opportunity to give kids that space to talk and to speak and to engage. And not only that, but you're giving them more opportunity to, to, to develop their own identity. You're letting them speak as to who they are. They're not standing up in front of the class trying to be something. Over time, they can develop their sound, their, their tone, their cadence. You know, and it's really incredible, you know, what conversations do for people. Like I said, without our podcast, I, I wouldn't be here. Not just like I wouldn't be here talking about podcasting, but I wouldn't be in this position that I'm in as an educator. Being in the best position to be successful as I can be 10 years into my career. After having a year where I was out of the classroom. Where the podcast was one of the main focuses I had. To now be in a position to be a better educator than I've ever been. And to be more aware of people and more culturally responsive. And to be in a position to have conversations with kids in, in real time, in the real world. It's because I've had so many conversations with people. People that were like me and people that were different. And in a world where our kids live online so much having them start with online conversations or putting conversations online, we can give them a chance to develop real world conversational skills, you know, and, and what we do with the podcast, how we direct them, the instructions they're given, the things that they do, you can teach them citizenship, not just digital citizenship, but real world citizenship. How do you behave in a conversation? How do you talk to someone that disagrees with you? How do you engage with someone who doesn't share your view, viewpoint? How do you listen without being just waiting for your opportunity to speak next? Those are all skills that we as adults need and, and our kids need too. And we have a chance to give it to them. Um, and just a few more things before my 20 minutes is up. Um, I would encourage you, if you don't listen to podcasts, start. Start there. Don't, don't feel like you got to go out and run and try to jump, but find podcasts that you like. And the other, in, in coming to the, to the title of this session, which is The Endless Possibilities, the possibilities of podcasts are endless because formats can change so drastically and content changes so drastically. Like whether you are... Um, you know, a solo podcast, there are podcasts where it's just one person talking and they just sit down to a microphone and they tell a story or they rant about something or they have a conversation or they answer questions from the internet or whatever it is. But there are also podcasts of people who are giving keynote speeches. There are podcasts of round tables. There are podcasts of every and any possible format. And like I said, you can find a podcast about I would venture just about anything on the planet. You know, you can find fantasy football podcasts. You can find the serial podcast, which is, you know, crime drama podcast. You can find music podcasts. You can find comic book podcasts. You can find, 
you know, I said sports podcasts, you can find educational podcasts. But the point of that is with all of the podcasts that are, that are out there, you can find a way. You can find a way to use podcasts in your classroom with your kids. Now, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your summer, out of your time uh, to spend it with me and, and learn about why we're so passionate about podcasts. Um, like I said, if you're interested and you want to start doing podcasts, go to the notes of this session and click on the Google slideshow. That will take you through the step-by-step -step of, of that presentation that we give with slides and pictures of how we use SoundCloud and iTunes. If that doesn't work for you, you're still confused, please send me an email, kyle at the ledproject.com or hit me on the DMs with, um, uh, on Twitter or Instagram at value adds value. We hope you enjoy the rest of your summer, but if you could do us a solid this summer, it would be to listen to our podcast value adds value. And if you like it, please rate review and subscribe to it and maybe share it with a friend or two. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I hope that this video helps you to have another tool to be able to make a difference for your kids. We'll talk again soon.